All right, hello from rainy Fort William. We are going on the Jacobite. So this is the, I've been on this before a long time ago. Now it's gotten even more kind of uh, stuff from the Harry Potter. Obviously you go over the Glen Finion Viaduct and you go by Dumbledore's uh, burial island basically. But it's one of at least the highlights of my life doing this trip. And uh, you definitely have to do this once in your life. Um, definitely recommend booking the entire year out so you can follow it on the West Coast uh, railways. We got the first class seats which I recommend I've done the economy one it's totally fine this gives you a little tea service um, your own private seats you can see they used to have the actual carriages that somewhat resembled the Harry Potter film but they've taken those away I think they were just too old um, so yeah we'll give you tons of info on here I know it's probably tons of people out there already have them but we figure it's a good way to let you know this is the customer announcement all right, so first class, we got them together. Um, the train actually does go both directions, so don't worry about being on one side or the other, because you'll get to see everything one way and the rest the other way. We got the whiskey boxes. It's an additional add-on. Um, we'll probably just keep them for the rest of the trip because we're driving back from here so we can have them. And you get tea service. Whatever, it's beautiful. <laughs> Just kind of cruising up to the viaduct, which we'll definitely show you guys as we go over. All right, we're coming up for the Glen Finian Viaduct, famous in Harry Potter. Just give you some scenes here on the train ride, it's just beautiful. All right, so we're actually on the not so good side, but on the way back, we'll be able to see the viaduct. <clears throat> so we'll probably see the people up on the hill that drive up here and walk to see the train. This is gonna open up now. There they are, there's everyone out there. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. You can see the steam coming off. There's all the people. Wave everyone. Oh my gosh, there they are. Beautiful ride here. As we make our way down to Dumbledore's Island where he was buried. You see everyone pausing just to kind of get some video footage. And I'm sure the trucks are just not happy with that. <laughs> All right, the little snacks gluten free. Look at this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yes, please. All right, we're coming up for it. That's not it. All right, there you go. It's one of these ones. I can't remember if this is it. It might be too big. I think this might be it coming up. A lot of them look the same. There we go. 
I believe that's it right there. Dumbledore's resting places. Was that just it right right there? Or it's still coming up? It'll be a few minutes yet. Gotcha. Okay. It's the last one. We'll see about two or three. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. All right, there it is, finally. It's all the way in the loch. That is Dumbledore's resting place. See it through, there it is. Bye, Dumbledore. Someone even lives near it, that's amazing. More beautiful areas here. One of the most scenic train rides you can possibly go on. Yeah. All right, so this is the ending point or halfway point in the seaside town of Maleg. Maleg. Just a nice little stop here, about two hours to, you know, get a pint, cider, some whiskey, whatever you want, ice cream, lunch, and uh, just cruise through the little highland town here. All right, just a quick stop while we wait for the train. Cappuccino, we're doing a Tobermory single malt, that's from the Isle of Mull. And just the coke, this cute little place. All right, here we go. We're leaving Maleg, headed back now. The nice thing they do about the train is they switch everyone to a different carriage so you can get different views on the way back. So one thing about Maleg is in another famous movie from the 1980s. And the beaches around here were used in the movie Local Hero. So if you ever want to check that one out, it's a great movie. Definitely recommend it. But we will have a great view of the viaduct at the end of the video. All right, let's kind of zoom out and see where we're at. All right, we can, we can see some of the, the steam up here and it's beautiful. We're back. It was a good view. A lot of trees. Oh man, just missing it here. Hopefully we can come open. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. All right, some more views up here. It's just gorgeous. I think going back to the station, this site's like my favorite. A little church that's probably been turned into a house. Just beautiful. Look at this. Let's get up here a little bit. Let's see this. I don't know if we'll get it. Alright, it would appear the Dementors are coming. The windows are completely fogged up, but no. We're okay. It's actually just the steam from outside and it'll go away. Alright, so this is a station I have no idea. But I swear it looks like one of the stations where Hagrid drops the kids off for the castle. Unfortunately, there's a Scott Rail train right here. So we'll see if it can move. <clears throat> but it just, if it was dark at night, you would probably get what I'm talking about. We'll see if we can pick it up through the train. I don't think we're going to get it. So it would have been that area. Darn. Oh well, with the constant conversation and now a train, eh, it's been a fun return ride. Please keep talking to a minimum on this train, please. All right. Probably won't get the train coming around, but there you go. All the people. Last. There you go, you can get some steam. There it goes. Long gone. 
Maybe we'll get another glimpse, I don't know. There it goes in the distance. All right. That concludes it. We're off, it was fantastic. Obviously the train's backwards because it had to come back. We're gonna go into Morrison's real quick. Cannot park in here, they only have a three hour limit. One thing I definitely recommend, if you're gonna talk on the train, use your inside voice. We had the most <laughs> annoying people from Idaho who were loud and laughing and could care less about what they saw on the trip. And it kind of ruined it on the way back, but we made the most of it. Still, I say it's one of the best scenic train rides you could possibly go on. So, anyways, thanks for tuning in. We're off to Sky tomorrow. So, hopefully, some foodie adventures and stuff from Sky.